Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some quick uh, little tutorial here. here. Um, it's about getting the unique uh, device ID of your chip as well as finding the flash size of it. And I don't mean finding it in the uh, in the file system here. I mean actually retrieving it from your actual chip. And you can read all about this on this post here on my blog. I have also have some other posts using uh, I squared C for the L0, which I'll make a video about that uh, maybe this weekend. I got really frustrated trying to use the I squared C for the F1 series because it has a lot of errors and race conditions. And um, if you use a custom made library for it and you haven't coded it yourself, then you probably won't know about it. But if you are trying to um, code or register, code your own um, I squared C driver, it's it's a very bad implementation they have here and there's a whole uh, PDF on the errors with this uh, with the I squared C implementation on this uh, chip so I got really frustrated with it and then I moved on to trying to do it on the L0 and oh my god it's a piece of cake to do it on this you don't even have to do anything uh, it's amazing um, but yeah this specific post right here is about um, you know exploring other chips from STM. The F1, this F1 that everybody loves, this chip came out in 2007. That is like a dinosaur in terms of technology. Um, nowadays, like their newest uh, line is the G0, and it's like it's way more power efficient than this thing. It's using a better. Uh, they're using a smaller process. Um, I think is 90 nanometers so they're squeezing a lot more transistors into this little guy so you should definitely check out uh, other other um other chips by them i'm also um i'm gonna see if maybe i could crowdfund um some g0 and l0 boards and see if i could get them at the price that you know that that the chinese sell these uh blue pills because then people that's when people will jump on board and start using different chips aside from the ones that are you know available and then once that happens then the Chinese will start making the blue pills with these chips you know probably call it something else so it's all about supply and demand you know but anyway so on to this tutorial um, you can read the blog post here in case I miss something in the video so how to get the flash memory and the uh, unique device ID from your uh, microcontroller so here's the F1 data sheet you're gonna come down to the uh, on uh, this one is section 30 where it says electronic uh, signature on the L0 data sheet it's uh, section 28 device electronic signature so what this does is um, where the hell did I go alright so this memory size register it's a register and basically it just returns in hexadecimal the uh, number of kilobytes of flash on your microcontroller and it's mapped to a specific address. So all you need to do is uh, make a pointer to this address, and get the uh, to get the size of the flash in your microcontroller. That's really it. And it's um, it's 16 bits, right? So if you're gonna uh, print this like on UART, you're gonna have to you know obviously first print this uh, eight bits and then print these eight bits to get the uh, the number in, in in the proper order. And that's what I've done here. So. I I got that address from the data sheet where that register is and I put it into a 16-bit pointer called flash size and then I take flash size I shift it over by 8 and I ended with F to get the top 8 bits and then I just uh, ended with F to get the lower 8 bits and each of those is being printed on the uh, UART so um, I mean that should make sense right so I have these eight number these eight bits and if I shift these over eight times what's gonna happen these eight bits are gonna end up over here and then if you end all of that with FF you'll have your uh, the actual number and then you can just print it and then to get the lower bits you just end it with FF but you don't you don't shift anything right because they're already where they need to be so Let's go ahead and um, and do that. These are for the next thing I'm going to talk about. So these aren't being printed right now. I'm just printing flash size. Okay, so yeah, I already compiled that. So let's upload it. Yep, and it's actually been running. 
So if you can see here, let me restart the mic controller because I think I have to restart it. There you go. So it just printed the number 20. And it, it, it's obviously in hex. So 20 in hex is 32. So that's telling me that uh, this microcontroller has 32 kilobytes of flash. All right, the next thing is the uh, unique device ID. Now it's 96 bits long, this number you're gonna get. And according to them, this would be useful for serial numbers or some sort of security um, features if you wanna implement some sort of, I don't know, like random number or something that'll be unique for your device. So whatever the use you make one for it. So it's three 32-bit registers. Um, for the F1, it's actually divided into a 16-bit, oh, where it is, two 16-bits, and then two 32-bit. This one and this one, two 32-bit registers and two 16. But effectively, it's the same amount. It's uh, 96 bits at the end of the day. Um, and in in this register, they just tell you unique uh, ID bits, but they don't really tell you what they mean. In here, um, at least for these top registers, they tell you what they mean. So right here, they're telling you that bits 31 through tw through 24 are wafer number. So it's the actual uh, serial number of the wafer used to make your specific chip. So that's pretty cool. Um, then it's telling you that 23 to 0 is, um, here we go, 23 to 0 is the lot number. And then 63 to 32, all of these, it's also part of the uh, the lot number, I guess. And then over here, bits uh, 95 through 64, they're just telling you that uh, just unique ID bits. That's all they're saying. They really give much explanation about that. So yeah, so then what you have in this uh, sort of scenario is Again, if you're going to print it via UART, you're going to print these, right? You're going to shift this over as many times needed to get to to, to get this 24 over here. So you're going to shift, uh, you're going to take these 8 bits and you're going to shift it basically 24 times to get it in this position. And then you're going to end it. Then you're going to uh, take the whole number and you're going to shift it over 16 times and then 8. There you have it. And then you'll extract all four bytes from this 32-bit uh, register. And then you got to do the same, same thing for this one and same thing for this one. If you also notice, uh, each of these um, things, these registers, has a base address. So the base ad address for all three of these registers is this right here. And then the other one has an, an offset of four. So then you just add that four over here. The next one has an offset of 1-4, so then you just do 1-4 over here. And then you have all three registers. Uh, so that's what I did over here. Um, so I have unique ID 1, 2, and 3 to represent all of those 32-bit registers, right? And I have added their specific uh, offsets. And then obviously, um, since this is the base address. Uh, let, me, let me show you. So this bit, I'm on the F1. This right here, 0 to 31. So that's your first register. Then here's your second register. And here's your third register. So this is the third one. So to print this number in order, so you can read it uh, you know, from left to right, you're going to have to print this byte, then this byte, then this byte, and then this byte, and then this byte, and then this byte, like that, in that order. And then you're going to go up to the first one, the last byte, that byte, that byte, and then that byte. So that's how you would print it to get the number in order. And that's what I did in my code. So I labeled it unique ID 1, 2, and 3 to represent the different registers. And uh, let me comment out the uh, flash part. So over here now, that's what I've done. I went to this, um, un uh, to the third register, and I printed the the most significant byte, then the byte before that, then the byte before that, and then the first byte. And then I did the same thing for the second register, and for the uh, first register. So let's uh, 
compile this build that upload it to El Chipo there it is and restart it um, there is I'm gonna just pause it before it prints again so there it is as you can see this is a 96 bit number effectively um, if you were to see this in binary it would just be a really long list of ones and zeros uh, so that's it basically that's all I wanted to show you guys in this video um, I'm gonna see if maybe I can knock out another video tonight maybe uh, start off the uh, register overview of the I squared C for the L0 anyways that's that for this. Enjoy. Take care.